Today, I'll be introducing you to Homeg's new Drilltech D110 series machines. The D110 is a horizontal drill and dowel insertion platform, a perfect standalone solution in a case goods setting, also very functional in a work cell setting supporting multiple nested base machining centers. As with most CNC machines, it's important for us to have a nice understanding of how the operator interacts with the machine, how we create programs, how we load programs to the machine. And here on the D110 series machine, there are two main ways that, that, that those processes will happen on your shop floor. Number one, and most common, you're creating programs for your drill and dial machine in your office through your third-party CAD CAN system. That could be, uh, for example, Cabinet Vision, Microvellum, IX, Mosaic, or maybe an optimization system like router sim or something along those lines, right? Where you're creating programs in the machine and screen to machining them down to the shop floor. In addition to that, um, the machine is also configured with onboard programming software. For us, it's uh, Woodwop version 8.1 in current. And what Woodwop does is it gives you the ability to create programs on the shop floor, right? So you're not solely tied to something third party or it gives you the ability to edit programs that were created in the office right here on the machine. So you have a nice, uh, a nice shared flexibility between what your CAD programmers are doing in the office and what your machine operator is doing on the shop floor. So if you kind of, we do a little demonstration here about what are the operators doing most often on the machine control? That's loading programs, accepting them, and then running parts through the machine. So if you take a look at our screen here, just a real, real simple demonstration of the HOMAG Power Touch interface. You have the ability to utilize it as a touch screen or as a traditional PC and mouse. So we'll do a little demonstration on both here. So I've got two programs. I'm gonna run this stretcher in zone one, and I'm gonna run the same stretcher in zone four. As you can see on this screen, they're loaded to the reference zones. I accept those programs. And now they transfer down into the processing area of the machine. That little clunking noise you heard on the backside, that's the reference fences actuating up automatically so the operator knows that the machine is ready and he's got a rear reference and a perpendicular side reference available for those parts. If, let's say for example, oh, that's not the, that's not the program I wanted to run, quick drag and, drag and drop interface into the trash bin, accept the removal of the programs, I'll grab the new program, Accept, and the machine is ready to run those programs. Additionally, depending upon how you're set up for data transfer in your office, the machine is also set up with barcode software resident on the machine and delivers with the cordless barcode scanner. So if your parts are coming in with barcodes, we don't need to do any of that manual transfer that we did. Scan the part, it'll populate the reference zone and load the program to the machine. I'd like to take a moment to do a short walkthrough of the machine and introduce you to some of the standard functionality and features of the D110 series machine. Uh, let's start at the machine control. Um, one of our additions to the machine is a, is a manual feed override, feed potentiometer or feed pot, some will call it. What this does is it gives us the ability to override the programmed control of the machine uh, without having to go into menus and, and change data. Right, so why would we do that? If we're running a new program, a prototype or something that we've run for the first time, program it from the office and we can slow ourselves down here with the feed potentiometer. Uh, the machine shows you at what percentage of full speed you've got the, the feed pot set at. So right now I just turned it down to 4%, meaning we're gonna run really slow. As you get comfortable with your program or your operator becomes comfortable with the machine, we'll turn that feed potentiometer up to 100% let, let this thing pound dowels in your parts. Um, along the same lines, we do a manual drill feed speed override. So if we're comfortable with the machine, we're running at 100%, but we're putting, we're either drilling or doweling in different materials. Could be solid wood, could be particle board, could be a phenolic or a plastic, something that we're not really sure how the machine's gonna respond. This override allows us to only throttle back the traverse speed of the drilling unit, right? So another level of, of safety built into the machine as we're doing things that are different than what we often do with the drill and dial machine. 
working our way down the machine. You're gonna hear us talk about a lot of features today where we're focusing on how the operator interacts with the machine to make that pair, machine and operator, more productive at the end of the day. The first function or feature that I wanna talk about is called Home Eggs IntelliGuide feature. It's an LED light bar integrated into the machine control that shows the operator what working zone the machine is, is expecting parts and the dimension of that part in that zone, right? So if we take a stretcher, for example, it's three inches by 24 inches. Not very often will the operator put that part in the machine the wrong way. But if we're dealing with the part that's 24 inches by 22 inches, well, what, what side goes in the machine and what side is reference? You can see here the width of the part that it's, the machine is expecting. You can match that up with your part and you don't have to pull your tape measure and slow yourself down. So this is called IntelliGuide. Paired with IntelliGuide, you can see here we have four parts lit up on the machine, which for me, that means I need to have my right reference fence activated, my center fence activated, which in reality is two references, right side of fence for one reference, left side of fence for a third reference, and then I need my fourth reference fence up. In most machines of this, uh, in this category, those fences need to be actuated by the operator. You either have to flip a switch or you'll come move a handle or in some cases take them out with, with screws. Here, these are CNC controlled and the machine is calling them into actuation for the operator. So again, how do we produce more parts out of a machine like this? We pair the machine with an operator and create a situation where the operator has to think less and can simply put more parts through the machine. Continuing along that same theory, uh, how is our machining head set up? This is a three spindle, individually selectable drill block. So in a common application, you would have three eight millimeter drills in your drill block if you're doing all dowel construction. Gives you the ability to drill three holes in one actuation of the machine, followed by your dowel insertion unit coming through and filling them each with a dowel hole. Um, it's also common for a machine like this that can take more than one diameter drill to be able to be utilized for more than simple dowel insertion. Let's take Conformat screw uh, execution, for example. You can have two eight millimeter drills in this drill block and uh, the diameter of your pilot hole for your, your structural screw. So you're utilizing the machine to insert the dowel and pre-drill for your structural connector if uh, case clamp and dowel construction isn't how you choose to run the machine. You'll also see customers use a machine like this as a backup to a point-to-point -point style machining center where maybe we're not using it to insert dowels, but we're using it just to uh, drill horizontally in the edges of workpieces for machines that either are overburdened in production, bottlenecked, or potentially out of service in awaiting repair. A machine like this can, can serve that functionality too. And as we move to, to conclude the functionality of the machine, um, workpiece fixturing is very important. If we can't hold the part where we need the part, it's not gonna produce an accurate workpiece. So we have multiple clamping cylinders on the machine, adjustable in left to right, also adjustable in height, which is common on most machines in this segment. Uh, but for the D110 series machines, were also adjustable in and out from the, from the point of, of machining or the drill line. A very large surface area on the clamping foot so that we're able to put uh, extended amounts of pressure across the workpiece and make sure it's as flat as possible pr prior to commencing the drill and dowel application. And last but certainly not least, um, bringing some additional functionality into the machine and its operator. The D110 is a zero setup platform, meaning um, as we set the machine up for drill location, left to right, drill height in the workpiece, up and down, and drill depth back and forth, those are all set up motorized and controlled by the CNC. So we read the incoming uh, CNC program and the machine sets itself up for position, 
height and drill depth without any manual interaction or intervention required of the operator. For more information on the HOMEG Drilltech D110 series machine or any of our other automated woodworking machinery solutions, please contact your local Styles Machinery sales representative or visit stylesmachinery.com.